Good morning, Philippines. It's Thursday, February 28, 2013. Welcome to Practical Business Now on its third season. On the show today, Judge Malutamang, who will advise us of our rights in view of the so-called security measures being implemented by government as part of the gun ban. Also with us is Timmy Nubla of the Peninsula Manila, who will tell us about the employment prospects in the hotel industry as well as the latest news from this historic hotel. I'm your host, Miguel Hill. Let's talk about the hotel industry. With us is Ms. Timmy Nubla, uh, a notable uh, broadcast journalist before and now the PR manager of the Peninsula Manila. Timmy, welcome to Practical Business. Thank you, Miguel. Okay, before anything, uh, Timmy, tell us, what is this, uh, this uh, new thing, this new trend in the hotel industry, the staycation? Exactly what is a staycation? Well, staycation is because um, we're all becoming even busier and also because of the traffic, mm -hmm. the long travel time, the long uh, travel hours on the road and so forth. People, more and more people are looking for staycation packages mm -hmm. so that they can take a break even while staying within the city. So a lot of the hotels here and abroad are doing more and more of that. And for the Peninsula of Manila for one, um, for the month of February, and this is ongoing until March 3, uh, we prepared a staycation package which includes a room as well as a theater package. So it's bringing it a notch higher by offering a lot of additions, inclusions, and amenities. So we did this with um, Nine Works Theatrical. So whenever you stay in the hotel, it includes a theater package as well, mm -hmm. VIP seats to they're playing our song by Nine Works Theatrical. It includes afternoon tea, um, a gourmet dinner, a three-course gourmet dinner at Old Manila with wine pairings. It includes flowers, chocolates, basically the works, as well as limo service to the theater to watch um, their playing our song. So it's basically a very luxurious weekend getaway um, for couples, but also for oh. friends. It could also be for girlfriends who just want to get away from their partners mm -hmm. if they want to, and even for mother and daughter tandems. Like um, in so February, this is a family thing as well, if they want. It could be a family thing as well. We had the mother and daughter check in mm -hmm. in February, and the mom really loved it. It was a Valentine gift from the daughter. So and with pampering, complete with pampering. Complete with yeah. pampering, complete the works, the works for them. And it's for only six, around 16500 Basically, it's value for money. So aside from looking for unique packages, um, the market right now also, of course, also wants more value for their money, mm -hmm. for their hard-earned money. Okay, it's summer, so mm. this is um, more or less when Filipinos tend to go out of town to <laughs> vacation with the rest of the family. But uh, the thing is, there are other factors uh, that affect these plans. Mm -mm. One, one is, the, of course, the traffic, etc. Mm -mm. And the fact that a lot of people really don't want to go out of town, uh, long drives. I mean, n not everyone likes the long drives. No? Mm -mm. So I guess this would open new doors for, th for, uh, for the exactly. hotels. Because mm -mm. hotels is sort of, sort of a uh, uh, resort in itself. No? Mm -mm. So m basically, what amenities? Uh, uh, I've uh, I've been to your hotel, though, so you have mm. the swimming, of course. But the public uh, vacationers want to go uh, uh, beyond just the swimming. W wh what else can they expect? Well, we're very popular for our outlets as well. Of mm -hmm. course, we have the popular, the very popular lobby of the peninsula. So usually, like for the vacation package, that's why we have the afternoon tea at the lobby because it's just another popular. Uh, amenity that the hotel offers and then we have fine dining at Old Manila but we have other outlets like Escolta for mm -hmm. the buffet open kitchen um, service or amenity. We have uh, the Asian restaurant called Spices. We have our bar lounge called Salon de Ning mm -hmm. which is also very popular um, not just for the the young Manila society crowd but also for corporate parties um, because of the interiors of the place as well as the bands that are included in the packages when you book your corporate functions in uh, Salon de Ning. And um, aside from that, as I've mentioned, we try to do things even outside of the hotel. 
so that when you stay with us, you also get to go to the theater, mm -hmm. you get your limo service, and everything is already prepared for you. Everything is personalized and um, just worked out and prepared for you so that you don't have to worry about anything and you can just enjoy it. You know, w one thing that is uh, often uh, not talked about when you talk about vacation is that a lot of the vacationers want to go shopping, mm -hmm. and I think uh, the 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 location of the <laughs> the pen mm -hmm. lends itself to 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 those who want to go shopping yes. because you can literally just walk to the nearest mall, and mm -hmm. uh, these are more or less high end malls or malls that ta have uh, everything you could uh, possibly want, maybe. Yes, that's right. Um, the hotel is strategically located, but even for people who don't want to walk, they can always avail, avail of our limo service. Mm -hmm. And um, actually, we're also working out a partnership with a new luxury car brand. Mm -hmm. We still can't say the name right now, but it's a very high-end brand, and we will be introducing it soon, and they might see it during the bridal fair, actually. Uh -huh. I think the the limo service is a big deal with the uh, with the pen. I mm -hmm. mean, uh, all hotels more or less have their own transport services, but I think the the luxurious uh, s services from a limo uh, that you receive from a limo mm -hmm. is something that you give a lot of uh, emphasis in. Uh, does that speak of your market? Yes, because we are a business luxury hotel, so mm -hmm. it's a very niche market. So that's why we have to give them really um, luxury amenities. It has to be A1 amenities, A1 suppliers for everything. And we also take a lot of pride in the service. It, um, the hotel offers very personalized service and we're always commended for the type of uh, service and attention that we give the guests. Uh, mm -hmm. We really go um, out of our way even to um, you know, to learn about the guest's preferences, especially if you're a returning guest, so that you really get personalized service. Um, the wait staff can already give you what you want even before you ask for it, mm -hmm. because we study all of these things, like if how you want your coffee served, um, what kind of wine you want with your dinner, even So you shy away from the generic service and go You have to, oh. because that's the niche of the hotel, mm -hmm. and I think that's also what sets the peninsula apart from the others but also aside from the limo service we will also be offering mm -hmm. um as part of pinoy pride a peninsula jeepney soon but it will be custom made to be a luxury vehicle mm -hmm. it will be air conditioned and it will have a lot of amenities inside but it would be a representation of the filipino jeepney and uh we will be offering that soon as well to our guests and it will be part also of our um, tourism efforts Kay. for the country. Timmy, the hospitality industry has been evolving somewhat. And I understand uh, more than just having a comfortable place to stay or a uh, nice meal to eat. Uh, y you, you target certain uh, demographics, mm -hmm. among which is the, the bridal, the bridal mm -hmm. crowd. No? understand you're going to have a bridal fair. How does that work exactly? I, I know you have that in the malls nowadays. No? Mm -hmm. They have these big places where all the sellers uh, yeah. are there, no? mm -mm. from personal experience. Uh -huh. But uh, how does that work uh, in the hotel uh, setup? Mm -hmm. Well, as you know, weddings are really a big deal here in our country. Uh -huh. And as you said, even from your own experience. When and June is... Fr from a wedding uh, June. perspective, June is just around the corner. Yeah, but actually June is a wedding month abroad, but not for the Philippines because that's rainy season for us. Here so January. in re reality, it's yeah December, January yeah. For, for us, for the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So because weddings are really a big deal here in the Philippines and we really prepare for it. And as you said, even from your own experience, it could be very tedious and stressful. Be so very stressful, yeah. <laughs> and expensive so, so that's the reason why the peninsula holds its own bridal fair it's actually a much awaited event for engaged couples it's always much awaited by the media as well as um you know couples who are looking at options um we will have the top suppliers in the hotel and i guess what's good about it is even those suppliers who usually don't attend or go to or showcase their products in bridal fairs will be here 
in this bridal fair because usually if you're very popular the clients just go to you mm -hmm. but if couples want the convenience of having everyone all of the top suppliers under one roof they can check out the bridal fair and we have a lot of activities to make it enjoyable for everyone we will have a fashion show at the lobby um we a will fashion have show okay yes a fashion show with the top designers with their muses popular models and uh, we will have a floral exhibit by our creative director, Anna Faberzal. As you know, event styling is also very popular for weddings these days. It's not enough to have the usual flowers on the table set up. Mm -hmm. uh, brides are asking for more and more stuff, more and more details to make their weddings more special and personalized. And this is my favorite part, the uh -huh. food tasting, yeah. dessert tasting, cake tasting, cocktail tasting, uh -huh. so everything. And then we will have personalized inquiry service, personalized inquiry tables, so that you will be well attended to, unlike when you go to other bridal fairs, where it could be crowded and you don't get uh, attended to right away. Here we will have personalized inquiry tables, and we will also have a gown exhibit. So there will be a lot of things to watch out for in the bridal fair. Also, for couples who book on the same day, uh -huh. um, they can they will get a free weekend stay at the hotel as part of their bridal package. Another highlight would be the introduction of our Lux bridal package for the very discriminating and demanding bridezilla. <laughs> Usually, okay. a lot of women turn into monsters when they're preparing for their wedding. So this will have yes, really definitely <laughs> from your own experience. You know, you uh -huh. probably know that. So um, this will have really uh, the top products. Like we will even throw in um, a pair of Christian Louboutin shoes for the bride, which usually cost 50,000 pesos a pair. Uh, a La Mer facial spa package for the bride. Everything to make her feel very special and pampered. Um, it will have a luxury bridal car. Again, as I said, we will be introducing the brand very soon. Uh -huh. And it will include a five course gourmet dinner with wine pairings for this bridal package and it will include a stay at the Peninsula Suite for mm. the couple for two nights uh, which is our presidential suite it has three bedrooms a jacuzzi the works, the works. Yeah. okay Timmy there's an old showbiz saying that uh, publicity good or bad is still publicity now uh, it seems that uh, the, the Peninsula has been able to uh, reap the pa some sort of positive benefits of, w of what happened there a few years ago, the Manila Pen Siege. And uh, do, do you get customers who, who, who check in or who just want to look at the, the places where, uh, where the, the historic events happened? Mm. I mean, it's I actually is that a, a fair thing to ask? It's actually a misconception that mm. we got uh, positive um, benefits from mm -hmm. the siege or that the publicity there worked in our favor. Mm -hmm. It was not good at all good at all for uh -huh. the hotel and not just for the hotel but even for our country as a whole yeah it was really digging our own grave and it took a while for the hotel to recover from it um because when the siege happened they were enjoying uh actually full occupancy the hotel was fully booked mm -hmm. that time and when that happened the occupancy dropped to around 50 to 60 percent only mm -hmm. so it was really a big drop a big blow not just for the hotel, but also for our tourism and business industry. But, but you really picked up, I mean, uh, very yes, quickly. Yes, for sure, yeah. We did, fortunately, we picked up quickly. Uh -huh. And um, I guess we owe that also to the staff who worked very hard and who've been consistent in the type of service that they've been delivering, which is why that happened. Um, right now, we are, again, fully booked. Like, even for today, it's 100% occupancy. I just had to ask that because I remember both of us covered that event. That's right. As reporters. <laughs> yes. one, of the, one of the more memorable coverages. Hmm. Anyway, if you want to take part in our discussions, you can uh, text your uh, uh, comments, reactions to globe number 0915-209-6012. That's globe number 0915-209-6012. Practical Business will be right back after a few reminders. Don't go away.